Next one's going to be a uh, our first title bout of the evening at 165 pounds. It's going to be Rob Marinick stepping in to face Cody Noble. Both guys got impressive records. And this is uh, Cody Noble. I was speaking with Elijah before we got the, this uh, card started, and he was telling me that uh, he doesn't know a whole lot about Cody, uh, but from what that he was able to gather, uh, Cody has KO'd his last three opponents. I talked to him a little bit ahead of time, too. He seemed very relaxed and ready for this fight. Um, you know, I don't know how much that says, but, man, he, he looks ready. This fight, I've been so excited for it. These guys at weigh-ins yesterday were in each other's faces. There was I thought they were going to go at it. It was bad. And Cody Noble is a guy I've not seen him fight before. He's coming off three knockout victories. And I'll tell you this, when Rob Marinick was in his face yesterday at weigh-ins, did not phase him. He no. didn't care at all. Rob was jawing at him, talking, and uh, Rob said, those muscles aren't going to help you tomorrow. <laughs> Nothing. And like, at the end of it, he just said, I'll let my hands do the talking. It's nice. It's nice. But Rob Marinick's a guy who's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. He's a guy who fought Armani Bellman for this title. Or for the, uh, actually for the cruiserweight title. Now he's dropped down. That was a fight a lot of people thought he should have won. A lot of people thought he won that I fight. I included. I thought he won the second and third round. And he was so upset to get robbed. You know, he felt like he was robbed in that title fight. That belt should be his. Now here he gets his second chance. And I'm telling you, there's an intensity about this guy that you don't see often. When you spoke about it earlier, too, he comes from another great gym, right? Oh, my, like... Those guys are always here to fight, always ready to go. You know you're going to see something good when they're here. So, And, you know, this is a short-notice opponent for him. He was preparing for a totally different fight. His opponent pulled out. He's had a lot of trouble finding a match. Cody Noble stepped up. He said, I don't know much about him. I know he's got a powerful overhand right. I think he's watched what footage he can on him. But I think he would have fought anybody that yeah, this belt. Yeah, Rob's a gamer. He's going to fight whoever they put in front of him. I don't think it matters. And Rob has an interesting style. It's that old school, almost like Mike Tyson yep, rolling. the Dempsey rolling. Yeah. A lot of like Jack Dempsey in there. He likes to roll and come over top with his hooks. All right, our next battle is going to match you with three, three rounds of boxing. For the one I'll tell you this. I was very impressed with how Noble handled himself at weigh-ins. Just, you know, like I say, you can tell a lot about that stuff. Yeah. That guy seems like a gamer. He seemed good all day. I met him early on. Uh, he's also a military veteran. Yeah. Very a lot of time in the military. Owns his own company. He's a contractor. Can't shake that guy. If he's in the military, then he's ready for anything. Absolutely. Right? Well, this is exciting, guys, man. I'm looking forward yeah, to this. This is going to be a good one. Let's see if those last three knockouts are, you know, hold true for Cody or not. I expect him to have a big right hand. Yeah. A lot of power in it. You can just see by the way he's built, he's going to carry power. And here we go, boys. Let's see the stances here. Yep. Going straight But, you know, to the in, in that last fight, Mayor Nick had. That was a fight everybody counted Rob out. Yep. Ooh, oh, wow. Out. Short right right there. And Rob came out and beat a like guy 30. with an incredible record. A guy that everybody thought he was going to lose to. Great jabs. I mean, yep. this is this is high-level boxing already. Oh, oh man. Over counter. the top with that right hand by Mayor Nick. Oh, oh, and another right hand that hurt him. That definitely hurt it him. It did. And yeah, you see that power from he Noble. Needs to, he needs to follow it up before he comes back. And he is, he's walking him down. He's running right now. He's, he's running too. He's a nice high body, body shot. Look at these shots. Oh, beautiful Noble. job by Rob slipping out of the way of that, though. Also, I'm wondering, I feel like his hand touched the, the mat, and that is a definite knockdown in boxing if it did, and they missed it. Oh, good yeah, job. Yeah, he's rocked Noble. right now. I don't. I don't know if Cody's fully aware how much he's hurt. I'll tell you this, so Rob has good head movement. He does. He's been doing a good job trying so to stay that. away from that right hand. Yeah, nice I feel the reason those there. are landing is because he's still hurt, right? Those and, are... and it's just his job, dude. Everything he's throwing, he's setting up with that beautiful job. Let's see if he survives this and he recovers. He's giving him time to recover. He's got his sure. legs under him now, I think. Yeah. It looks pretty clear-eyed as well. Yeah. 
and he's getting back to the the duck and the bob and weave and looking back like his old self. Oh man, oh, wow. got cracked nice again right there in the middle of that exchange. And now Rob coming back, tripling up the jab. Oh, oh he tried to roll out of the way of that one and still I caught think, a little bit I of it. I think he did slip out of most of the power of that. He just needs to get out of this this round and, and get himself back. Well, this is one of those fights. Like, you see the fights earlier, guys not being defensively sound. And you'll see, you get hit by right hands like this, you're not going to be able to take them. And that's why Rob's got to be on point here with his head movement. Cody's got a good, nice defense, good high guard, good jab. I mean, it's very impressive. I really like how he's following everything. Yeah, he's look using, at this. He's Ooh. using that jab to set up everything he throws. Rob just got out of the way of that overhand right. So he's switching his stance, very subtle switching his stance. He's in a southpaw stance now. Let's see how this goes. Look at it that. shows experience. Not, back. I was going to say, for not see seeing Cody in there before, you can see that there's experience there. Well, I mean, you see very a guy impressive. that's comfortable southpaw and orthodox, you know he's been boxing a while. Yeah, he's very impressive. Look at that. Nice one, too. Man, nice lead left hook. And, and Rob's output is slowing way down. Yep. Yeah. Because so of it. Can't figure this puzzle out, and right? He's having to focus so much on defense yep. that he's not able to mount his own offense. It goes back to what we were saying earlier that it's, it's clearly he's getting outboxed, so he's got to decide what he's going to do. He can't figure out this puzzle quite yet. And it, it makes you think do you get to the point where you start regretting all the trash talk before the fight? It's a good point. You know, this problem with trash talking is you've got a lot to live up to, right? Yep. Um, it sets the bar pretty high. It does. It does. But I think you're right. You know, Cody said he was going to let his hands do the talking, and so far they have. Yeah, I would have to give Cody the first round. Oh, 100%. Well, let's see the adjustments they make here. Again, That's, this is a title fight. Um, how many rounds are we looking at? Three? Yeah, three. Three, three threes. And you see Brent Walter right there in the corner of uh, Rob Marinick. It looks like that Noble has some good coaching as well. You yeah, see his coach. They're nice and relaxed. Well, I mean, look, look at, at Cody in, right. is intently listening to his coach too, right? Absolutely. Looking at him directly in the face, no, listening to everything he's got to say. Rob's up first, ready and ready to go. He knows he needs to make up some work or make up a round, and he's, he's up, ready to go. I think this is the most competitive and technical fight of the night so Absolutely. far. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. In a night of great fights. All right, let's see the adjustments, see what his coach had him do. Just these little subtle movements from, from yeah. Cody look like they're throwing Rob off a little bit. Whoa. And that's the point. I think he's throwing his hands up. Rob's him down. chasing a little too much. He shouldn't be chasing that much. Well, I think Rob got the impression that oh. he hurt him or something there, didn't he? And I don't I don't know where he got that, but Oh, nice oh, body shot by body Noble. Shot. You heard the power on yeah. that. But he's definitely looking more active here. Rob's looking a lot better this round. He's just got to make something happen. He just needs to put He's some got, volume. I think the biggest thing he could do right now is keep Noble on his back foot. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's exactly Noble's like struggling. this. Yeah. Noble doesn't look as good fighting off his back foot. And Rob's not letting anything but, go right there. That was yeah. interesting to me because Rob's usually, if he gets you in the corner or up against the Ooh, cage, he's going to let him go. Just, there's two I think that he's landed very wary solid. of the power of Noble. Yeah. yeah, I believe so. Those last two landed very solid. Oh, nice that was nice. Foot by Rob, though. That was the best shot he's yeah, landed. Another nice one. Took. He's and now Rob's coming on go. a little stronger. I think Noble might be getting a little tired as well. His punches aren't coming quite as fast. He's not got quite a, the output he did before. See, that, that hook didn't look quite as sharp. That jab doesn't look quite as sharp. I think he might be slowing down. It's a, and Rob looking strong here. Yeah, it's definitely his best round so far. You can argue nice that he's jab. winning the round so far. I think far. he is. Yeah. I believe he is. Good head movement. He's, yeah. It's a whole new round for Rob. He's looking great. He looks comfortable yeah. now. Just needs to land a couple big shots and he'll, he'll and, see and the And here's deal. the thing. Like, he knows, oh, nice. Yeah. He knows as well that nice. he's eating this guy's biggest punches. Yes. And he made it through. 
I think it did shake him up a little bit. Oh, nice jab round. from Rob. And then double jab from Cody. Now he's coming. Oh, look at that short left. That was a very nice left hook. He oh, went Rob. on for it. Good overhand jab right by Rob. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. These that, guys are And then going. back it up, and then Rob not. Not. Yeah. Game opponents here. Rob has a beautiful left hook. Nice body shot from Rob. I honestly think that's his best punch, is his left hook. Yes. So far, it's been money for him. But nice and short, and he's got a lot of pop on him. Rob has such an there interesting story uh, getting into the sport. He said he used to be a street fighter in middle school and high school. And he got jumped by about five guys. He ended up messing him up. He's got steel plates in his jaw and um, stuff. He's like, I better learn to actually fight. Yeah. Well, that's a good move, right? And you see that toughness in him. You really do. When he got cracked there and he just nodded. Yeah. So what are you guys thinking so far going into this third round? <laughs> you hear Rob Merrick just go, woo! You must say we're at one to one. One and one? Yeah, yep. one to one. I agree. And with that momentum shifting. Yeah. And it's in the favor right now Rob, of Rob Merrick. Yes, How many sir. times tonight have we had these fights like this? Right? Yeah. It's, it's been great, man. Yeah, this card really was perfectly matched. Yeah, credit to the matchmaking. Um, Way to go, Keith. No. Credit to the fights, too, man. You know, a lot of times when you lose that first round, especially you lose it bad, you, you could fold. Yeah. Right? These guys are coming out and winning the second round. They're giving it to them, man. And I should say this fight is brought to you by Preston Dental. It's also brought to you by Dutch Miller and Chris Miller for governor. Look at that. This is going to be the pivotal round, obviously, guys. Yep, whichever guy bites down on their mouthpiece and takes this one. I mean, they both still got great movement. Yep. We're just a little bit more even on skill now. I feel like... Cody's corner did a great job of talking him up there in between rounds. I feel like he, he's feeling the pressure and knows he's got to get it done in there. Rob's pouring it on now. He yeah. knows that he's so close to winning this yeah. decision. One more round. Nice body shot by Rob there. And I do believe that Noble's gassing. Mm -hmm. So the, where the difference is this oh, is, nice is exactly what you said, Elijah. He's keeping him on his back foot and chasing him down, right? And he's doing it without getting countered, uh, which is causing him to, to, to land some more punches. And I think that's what stopped that in that first round was that power of Noble. He yeah. ran into that power, and it made him wary in that first. But now, as Cody fades, Rob's getting stronger, and he's not making him pay when he's wading in there. Cody can't make him pay for it like he did in that guard. first. And This is good, though, right here for Cody, too, if he was fading yep. a little bit. Um, getting a little breather. Yeah. I've always been a big proponent. As soon as this is over, somebody should come out and just go wild, you know? Yeah. And we'll see what happens. You might get your wish. Yeah. See it. Marinick jab to the body. They traded jabs there. He lands the first power punch. Is it going to be the left hook? Oh, big oh, overhand, right? and it clipped him. Yeah. Oh. Missed with Ooh. that. Oh, wow. Noble Beautiful. just threw a massive hook and barely Beautiful boxing missed. by them both. Yeah, Rob's head movement is superb. Like that's the thing. This is not a tough man fight. This is no, not. No, this is boxing. Brawl. This is this a is the beautiful sweet, boxing. This match. is the sweet science. That was a good right hand there by Rob. Nice jab there by Cody. She got, and oh. then oh! right straight and another. And Rob shakes his head, but that hurt him. Yeah, absolutely. Mouthpiece on the ground. That was again. a nice shot. Another mouthpiece. Oh, come on now. That knocked, his, that knocked his mouthpiece out. Yeah, that was a beautiful punch. Now, if I were noble, you got to come out like a house on He's fire. He's tired. Rob just screamed, come on. I'm Here's, telling you, that guy's game. Here's the thing about that mouthpiece, too. If this is a longer fight, if you lose it again, sometimes they'll deduct a point, right? That's yeah. twice one round. Rob and calling Rob him is, forward saying, yep. come on. My God, what there a fight. Go. Look at that. Pump those jabs. Nice head movement. These guys are gamers. Yes. Yes, sir. Some great action for the fans. It's intense. Sneaky uppercut by Rob there. And that's the thing, too. You know both these guys have the power to put each other away. Exchanging jab. Oh! 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 Has him hurt? Noble has rocked Rob. And another one! Oh, and Rob's head is bouncing all over him. 
Wow! Noble is all over me right beautiful, here. Beautiful job by Rob staying alive, not going down because this is so important. This fight's one and one right now. Oh and I, and Slash Noble up. is pouring it on. He needs to back up. Yep. Get some distance. Here it comes. And we've got 10 what seconds. What's going on? Is that another mouse fight? Oh, my God. Here? This yeah. is a terrible time to yeah, stop the action. Definitely not stopped it. Or should have dead Dr. Point. You cannot keep losing your mouthpiece. No. This makes three times. And yeah. this was in such a pivotal moment in this fight. Oh, man. And Rob comes out with a beautiful left hook. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Five Great seconds fight. left of this incredible title fight. It's been back and forth the whole way. Wow. Props to those guys. It was a great fight. A great fight. So what do you think, Butch? How do you score this one? You give it to Cody. That last I think Cody took round. it the last yeah. round yeah. when he heard him. Yeah, in that first round. That yeah. last flurry. Here we go. Here's the replay. Man. Boom, boom. And Rob's For head pictures. is bouncing like a bobblehead right here. Props to Rob for staying on his feet. Yeah, props. I mean, hey, Rob is a tough dude. I have never seen that dude hit the canvas the entire time I've ever seen him fight. And he eats a hell of a shot. And Cody was just putting it on him right here. I mean, some of those were so clean. Yeah. It's kind of ruining the action, so. Great fight from both guys. Absolutely. Great corner work, everything. That was that was amazing, guys. I'm just shocked if uh, Rob doesn't get it. All three judges score a unanimous decision for Cody. Yeah, so definitely that last round, I would say, gave it to Cody. Absolutely. I don't think it was a 10-8 round by any means. You know, you no, know, definitely not 10-8. You know, but Obviously, I have to get a knockout, but it was as close to a dominating round as you could, could have without a 10-8 round, right? For sure. Anybody that wants to get it, anybody that's not a rapper, I'm probably jumping up and getting it. Ladies and gentlemen! 